Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW and just finishing up another doodle or drawing book. Now, um, I've been asked to do a quick video on what's the difference between doodling and drawing and zentangle. A zentangle is kind of a term used for Instead, doodling is generally something you do while you're preoccupied. I'm on the phone with somebody and I might make a doodle. You know, the Zentangle method is a really easy to learn um, way of drawing. It's fun, it's relaxing, and it's based on structured patterns. So to give you an example, is, um, this would be a few examples of some Zentangle. Um, you, can see, you can see how you'll take simple patterns, this would be See, now here's a great example. Um, I started with a simple face, made some lines that went to become the hair, and then filled in each line with a different pattern. So it's sort of structured to the point of you're filling in with whatever types of patterns or designs that you come up with. Now, there are structures like this, where I've had one center um, and then going around it are the patterns in which I fill it in. So you can kind of get an idea and so this would be using what's called a mandala or a mandala uh, style in which you work circular patterns around filling it with different structures and different uh, I'll see a couple more here. Now uh, this is an example of where I've used um, circles, uh, intersecting circles, and fill those in, and it gave it kind of an interesting feel with, uh, you know, with just different styles and very whimsical of sorts. Uh, again, sort of uh, uh, Madala uh, drawing, geometric shapes, but yet still filled. I generally like to use a lot of Sharpie, so I like to fill in all of the dark areas, so it gives it uh, more depth with the white against that. Generally don't color much things, but that would be an example of sort of a full page. Uh, I think I did another one here where it was just basically lines and circles. It gave it a much of a 3D effect of sorts. And again, I, li I like the intersecting um, circle idea. So I did another one and where they intersect the patterns are different. Now a lot of people ask, well where do you get these patterns? Do you make them up? And a lot of them you could get it either out of like a doodle book, like a Zentangle book. Um, what I like to do is I like to uh, go online and find what the latest patterns are and um, what I'll do here is, uh, well let me show you. Thing I do is I'll jump over to Google and I'll do a, a search for doodle patterns or doodle steps um, and then just click on images and you'll find tons of uh, ideas now one of the things that I'll do is print these out so I have copies of it but if you want to get more step by step change it to maybe Zen doodle uh, step by step and what you'll get is you'll get uh, actual instructions you know step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a lot of the things that you'll be filling in your doodles with or your patterns with and once I've got a good selection of them what I'll do is I'll save these things and uh, put them onto my desktop once I save the uh, picture onto my desktop I'll just open up a Word document and I'll save them to there and then from that point you can just go ahead and print them out and have a set of different instructions and depending on what you're creating and what you're doodling you'll have examples of things to fill in the patterns and let's go ahead and hit print and save them them so basically these are what I come up with if you want to see how I bind them I'll link another video that I did and basically what I'll have is I'll have my instructions here that I'll pick through to see what's interesting and as I'm creating my uh, my doodles I'll go ahead and have this book open that will give me the instructions and how to do that style so a lot of times I'll take that and kind of add to that or maybe you know alter it slightly 
but it's basically a way of making doodling more constructive. You're using uh, pre-known, pre-well-known patterns and kind of coming up with your own. So that's kind of why I enjoy this Zen doodle, this drawing. It's basically more than just basically doodling, uh, but it's not really in-depth, you know, fine art of sorts. So, but anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, quick video on what my techniques are for uh, creating uh, doodling and drawing. Um, sometimes I do it between phone calls at work if it's slow and uh, turn on some music and get creative. So, well anyways, thanks for watching. This is Chris from TDW Woodworks. If you have any questions, please post them below and I'll see you on the flip side.